Alright, just going to go through and debunk this really heretical video by Stephen Anderson where he claims that Matthew 24 lines up with 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, typical tactic of post-trippers, and he just totally twists the scriptures and just lies about what the scripture is saying. Uh, he does this a lot, typical of Anderson, but let's get right into refuting this. I have some notes written down. He makes several errors, and I'm going to cover them in this video. So, let's get right into this. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 gives us the most detailed, clear description of the rapture in the Bible. And I want to point out just a couple of characteristics of the rapture from this passage. Beginning in verse 15, the Bible reads, For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, and with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And so the three key points that I want to point out there are that a trumpet sounds, Jesus Christ comes in the clouds, and all of the saved are caught up together to be with him in the clouds. Whether they're the dead in Christ or those that alive and remain, it is Christ in the clouds, a trumpet sounds, and the believers are caught up to be with him. Listen to Matthew 24, verses 29 through 31, and see the exact same elements. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, that's a key phrase. Here's, here's what they always do. post trippers always do this. They'll say, see, it says after the tribulation. Uh, okay, the Bible never says the word the tribulation as a title for this time period. Okay, again, the, the, proper, time, the proper title is the time of Jacob's trouble. But also it says after the tribulation of those days. So it's not saying the tribulation of the title. You know, have to point that out because post trippers always do that. Shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So again, we have the exact same elements. In Matthew 24, we have Christ coming in the clouds, we have the trumpet sounding, and we have all the elect being gathered. That's exactly what we saw in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and that is because the rapture occurs after the tribulation. Okay, so several errors he pointed out in this video. Uh, I'm going to go through them right now. I have some notes written down. So first of all, he says, well, uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16, because he says that, see, it's the same thing. Okay, well, let's, let's see about that. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16, For the Lord himself shall descend from the heaven with a shout, and with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. Okay, notice that, the trump of God. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 mentions God speaking with a voice like a trumpet, the trump of God. Okay? There's zero mention of God speaking with like with his voice like a trumpet in Matthew chapter 24. Okay? Also, uh, Matthew chapter 24, Jesus Christ sends the angels with the great sound of a trump, but it's not God himself speaking with the voice of a trumpet. Okay? Or with the voice of a trump, we'll say it that way. And second problem, it says, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. There's zero mention of dead saints rising before the living saints in Matthew chapter 24. And what they do is they'll say, well, it was revealed later to Paul. Okay, well, here's how, here's, there's a problem with that, because here's how you answer them on that. Jesus Christ himself actually revealed the resurrection of the dead. Because they'll say, see, it was revealed to Paul later on. Okay, here's a problem with that. John chapter 11, verse 25. Jesus Christ himself reveals the resurrection of the dead. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die, believest thou this. So Jesus Christ himself reveals the resurrection of the dead. So they can't say, oh, it was revealed later to Paul, because clearly Jesus Christ himself is revealing it. Okay? So, so many problems when you try to when you try to say that Matthew 24 lines up with the rapture passages. I mean, again, where is the mention of dead saints rising first? Where is the mention of God speaking with the trump of God or, or playing a trumpet? There's no mention of that. So no, no, they do not line up. There's the rapture and the second coming are not not the same event. That simple. Matthew chapter 24 is very clearly describing the second coming, which is these passages in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and 1 Corinthians 15, 51 to 58, are describing the catching up of the body of Christ. Okay? That simple. So again, just to recap, 
First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16, he mentions the trump of God. God speaking with his voice like a trump. There's zero mention of that in Matthew chapter 24. There's also zero mention of dead saints rising first. And Jesus Christ himself revealed the resurrection of the dead. So you can't say, oh, it was revealed later to Paul. That's simple. So just don't be deceived by this satanic post-trib heretical nonsense. It, it is satanic. It, it makes God into a liar. So don't be deceived. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.